tune from Kentucky that was called The Blackberry Blossom. We'll do it now. One that's called The Flower from the Fields of Alabama. And Reed will sing it here. We love playing dances and things like that. This is an old square dance tune, just an old traditional tune from Kentucky. It's called The Lost Girl.
Sounds good. Thank you. I'm short. <laughs> or they're just very, very tall. <laughs> okay, one here that comes from Elizabeth Cotton. This one is called Shake Sugar.
we had a request for this next song. This is an old one from a fellow named... <laughs> one of the first... Uh, yeah. One of the first kind of very influential banjo players who influenced people like uh, Earl Scruggs to play the way that he did was a guy named Charlie Poole. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, he was one of the very early country music stars, like the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers. And um, he did this old, really, really neat song that just has a great message. And it's called Outshine the Sun. Yeah. We actually have a CD that we like the song so much that we titled the CD Outshines. It goes like this.
Sing along. vehicle for this kind of music, this old traditional music. And then the banjo came into play. And, uh, and then in the late 1800s, the wonderful guitar came in and sort of rescued us. And, uh, but we'll do one that comes from North Carolina. It's called Up Jump Trouble.
festival? Yeah. We're so, so happy to be here. We've been uh, in uh, Switzerland, Austria, and Germany uh, for the past three weeks, and we only have three more concerts, and then we leave this beautiful part of the world, but we sure had a good time. Everywhere we've been, people have been so nice, and uh, the food has been really good, and really good beer. <laughs> You know how to live well here. <laughs> well, since we're at the Bluegrass Festival, why not play a song from the Stanley Brothers? Yeah? Okay. We'll play one here called Riding That Midnight Train. Like this. 